Hey guys, it's Cher and in today's video I will be opening up and trying out the different products that came in this month's Ipsy bag. This is the June Ipsy bag. It came in this really bright green collar. It's probably going to be a month behind but I also have a video of me opening up May's Ipsy bag and the reason that that was late was because I didn't have the subscription until almost the end of May so it got sent kind of late. But if you want to check out me opening up my first Ipsy bag from that subscription then you can click somewhere right here and I will link it down below. And also, I just found out that this month's bag was like a partnership slash collaboration between Ipsy and Tetris, the video game. So that's exciting. If you want to see me open up what I got in my June Ipsy bag and try out all the different products and see how they work, then let's get into it. So the first thing they sent me is this Numa New Moisture Instant Fix Spray. The little card that they send reads, from detangling, hydrating, and taming frizz, to repairing and protecting hair from heat styling, this multitasking lightweight hair helper works wonders to repair dry and damaged hair. The secret? A blend of cottonseed oil, avocado oil, and chamomile. It says to spray it on clean, damp hair evenly before styling, or on dry hair before styling or using hot tools. I haven't really been using heat on my hair this past month. Not on purpose really, I just haven't been. But it says it can be used as a leave-in treatment as well. So I sprayed it on my hair after I got out of the shower and tried to use it to shape some waves into my hair since that's how my hair dries naturally anyway. The second product they sent me was the Tarte Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Full Coverage Foundation. They sent it to me in fair sand and when I first read that I thought that uh, it was not going to be a good match. <laughs> but it, other than making me a little bit yellow, I don't think that it's that bad of a color match. This full coverage matte finish foundation covers blemishes, evens skin tone, and illuminates your complexion while protecting against UVA and UVB rays because it is SPF 15. I was a little nervous that it was matte finish because I don't really choose matte finish foundations because my skin is already pretty dry. I was a little scared it was going to stick to certain areas of my face and make them look more textured than what they really are, but it turns out that it didn't really do that once I used my regular concealer. I mean, I'm not saying it's not a little bit cakey, but it's no more heavy looking than any other full coverage foundation I've tried. I've always wanted to try the Tarte foundation because I like everything I've ever tried from Tarte, but it is a little bit expensive if I'm remembering correctly. And I'm definitely a drugstore price type of girl when it comes to foundation. So I probably wouldn't buy this on its own. So it was nice to try it out in a small little sample size. It is really full coverage. I don't usually wear full coverage foundations for every day, but for those of you that do, this would definitely be something to consider if you like matte finish foundations that aren't really that drying and that have a little bit of sunscreen in them. The third thing they sent me was the Elizabeth Mott All Over Shadow Brush. I always need new eye brushes, so I was really excited that they sent me one. The card says that it has super soft, densely packed bristles that make shadow blending seamless and streak free. And I was actually able to try this just a little bit ago for another video that I was filming. I used it as a clean eyeshadow blending brush to try to blend together two darker colors. Like I said, I'm always happy to have new eye brushes to use, so I was excited about that. So the next product I'm trying, because I haven't opened it yet, is the Tetris and Ipsy collaboration lip gloss. I didn't even know this was a thing. Like Tetris is in the video game, I'm assuming, because of what the packaging looks like. It's kind of like a little fun rainbow uh, packaging of squares on the bottom. So it kind of looks like they're all fitting together on the bottom of the packaging, which pretty accurate to the Tetris game. This is the Tetris and Ipsy lip gloss in Tetramino. I think that's just the color of it. The card says that Ipsy partnered with the iconic video game Tetris on its 35th anniversary to create a limited edition collection celebrating our different sizes, shapes, colors, and unique beauty. Oh, okay, I see what it is. I see where we're going now. Lip toppers are trending, so wear this golden pearl shade alone or over your fave lip colors. So apparently you can wear this with or without another lip color. And it is a golden pearl shade. So that's pretty. If I'm understanding correctly where Ipsy's going with this collaboration, 
about celebrating different sizes, shapes, and colors of everyone um, and not just like lip products then I really like that. I think that's cool. I think that's what it means. I don't think that it means sizes, shapes, colors, and unique beauty lip products. I'm pretty sure it means like, you know, just celebrating the diversity of everyone and yeah, that's nice. That's a nice sentiment for Tetris's 35th anniversary even though I wouldn't necessarily call it an iconic video game right now. Yeah, you just call Tetris out. Like you're setting yourself up. Don't come for Tetris. I'd like to take that back. Um, I think that Tetris is... <laughs> I think that Tetris is so iconic. It's the most iconic video game ever, actually. And I don't want to make anybody mad if you're a Tetris fan, so... I love Tetris! But the packaging is really cool. So the top of the packaging says Tetris, obviously. And it actually matches the collar of this month's Ipsy bag, so now the collar of the bag, even though it's this crazy bright green, kind of makes more sense to me. Oh, and then the, I didn't even realize this, but the little Ipsy, the little Ipsy bag that it came in, it has a little Tetris symbol for the zipper, like little blocks on top of each other. That's so cute. I'm going to try this by itself and not on top of another lip collar, just to see what the real collar is like by itself. This is very glossy. I've said this a million times, but I'm definitely someone who prefers glosses over any other type of lip product because I just feel like they make your lips look actually hydrated, even if they're not. Not that I would know that from experience or anything. I'm just definitely a lip gloss person. I'm not sure if everyone got this same product in their Ipsy bag because it is like a collaboration. Or maybe everyone just got different shades of the Tetris lip gloss, depending on what preferences you use to set up your account with. But I would say that because it's a collaboration, probably everyone got something from this product line, whether it was lip gloss or if they have anything else, then everyone probably got some type of Tetris themed product. But that makes me wonder what other products there are in this line. Like, I'm, hmm. I'm gonna have to look it up because I had never heard of it until I opened up my Ipsy bag. It's definitely a little gold, but I like how it looks. It's shimmery and it's a basic gloss, but I love lip glosses and I'm happy to have another one. The last product is this Look At Me Sweet Honey Bear and Aqua Moisture Raccoon Sheet Mask Set. <laughs> That's a lot of words. That's a lot of animals. Bear and raccoon and then there's a little bee on the packaging like a bumblebee there's a lot going on with this face mask but this is for all skin types the sunflower seed oil in the aqua moisture raccoon mask helps your skin retain moisture the sweet honey bear mask uses honey and oh okay so wait 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 i think there's two of them in here is there two or just one i think you get both actually now that i'm okay yeah you get both that's why both the bear and the raccoon are mentioned the Sweet Honey Bear Mask uses honey and propolis to soften and plump. Both come from a K-Beauty brand dedicated to products that help people feel comfortable in their own skin. So you obviously use these separately. Maybe you can use them one after the other. The Sweet Honey Bear Mask is supposed to be smoothing and nourishing. And then the Aqua Moisture Raccoon Face Mask is supposed to be refining and deeply moisturizing. Oh, and the back of the packaging is in a completely different language, which makes sense because it is a K-Beauty brand. I've actually heard that a lot of K- <laughs> I'm gonna dig myself into a hole here. I've actually heard that a lot of K-Beauty brands have really nice skincare products. So I'll be excited to try these because I always need something to improve my skin. I'll go ahead and try these after I take my makeup off. I tried both masks in the same day, one in the daytime and then one in the evening. I have to say, I think I liked the Sweet Honey Bear mask better than the raccoon one. I used the Sweet Honey Bear one in the evening and it felt really moisturizing. Plus it smelled so good too, like straight up honey. All right, you guys, so that was me opening up and trying out the five different products that came in my Ipsy bag this month. And I didn't know it before I opened up the original packaging, but apparently this was also the Ipsy and Tetris collaboration Ipsy bag for the month too. Unless I get another one next month and it is also themed Tetris, which I'll be fine with because I think that's cute. And I am curious to know what other products are in this Ipsy slash Tetris collab makeup line. 
Is it all just lip toppers and lip glosses or are there other products? If any of you receive a monthly Ipsy bag, then make sure you let me know down in the comments below what Tetris themed product you got. If you got a lip topper like me, or if it came in a different shade, or if it was a completely different Tetris themed Ipsy product in general. If you like this video, then make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below if you have not done that yet. You can also click the little bell notification so you know exactly when I upload new videos. If you want to find me on Facebook or follow me on Instagram, then my social media links will be down in the description box too. And I will also link my other video of me opening up last month's Ipsy Glam Bag which was my first ever Ipsy Glam Bag ever. I was very excited about it, so can't wait for next month. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video.